What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to completely erase and restore your hard drive on your Mac. And this is how you do it on all Mac devices. So let's get started. First and foremost, the most important step is to back up your computer completely, whether it's on Time Machine or drag and drop all of your important files to an external hard drive. But it's very important that you back it up because once you start this process, all of your information will be deleted forever. So now that being said, there's a few things that you wanna log out of before you do this process. So head over here and go to Messages. And if you're signed into the Message app and you have your information, just sign out of the Message app. And then also head over to iTunes. Make sure to sign out of iTunes and deauthorize this computer from using the iTunes. And then also head over to System Preferences and then sign out of your iCloud. So just make sure you're signed out of those three. And once you've done that, we're gonna shut the computer completely down. Head over to the Apple in the top left corner. Head down where it says Shutdown and then click shutdown. And then just confirm that's what you wanna do. And now we've shut it down. So at this point, you fully backed up your computer. If you're wanting to erase this and just do a fresh install for yourself and you plan on keeping the computer, you can hold down Command R. But if you're planning on selling this computer and giving it to someone else, hold down Option Command R. So I'm not selling the computer, I'm just doing this for the purpose of the video. So I'm gonna hold down Command R and then I'm gonna turn the power on. And the startup will take a little bit longer while doing this, but you need to continue to hold the command and the R button down until you see the Apple logo, and then you see the progress bar starting below. Okay, so now I've seen that, I can let go. And like I said, this will take a little bit longer because it's booting in a different mode. So now this has prompted us to the Mac OS utilities. So there's two steps we're gonna do from this point on. So the first thing we need to do is head down to Disk Utility. We're gonna completely erase all of your information off the hard drive and then reformat it. So let's head down to Continue. So then if you head up here to this section where it says Internal, these are showing the hard drives you have. So for most people, that you'll just have one item here which is representing one hard drive. But if you're running Catalina, which is Apple's latest operating system, you're gonna have this and you're gonna have one just below it that it looks like the exact same thing. It'll be labeled whatever you've named your hard drive. Then it'll say separate data. So in that circumstance under this, I would have Mac SSD slash data underneath this. But for everybody else who's not running Catalina, you'll just have your one hard drive here. So if you are running Catalina, all you need to do is first is highlight this top one, click the minus button here, and it's gonna prompt you to a new screen that says get rid of groups. And just to clarify, that's only people running Catalina. If you're not running Catalina, you won't even see it, so it doesn't matter. So now we wanna erase and reformat this hard drive. So now we have your main hard drive selected here. Head over here to the middle button where it says erase. Click erase, name it whatever you wanna name it. But I like just Mac SSD drive. But you can name it Mac hard drive, you can name it whatever you like. And then format it, because this is a solid state, you wanna, you wanna format it the APFS. But if you don't have the SSD drive, you have the regular drive, it'll say Apple Extended Journal, click that. And then once you have the one identified, just click Erase. It'll automatically erase, wipe your hard drive completely clean, and then reformat it, so click Done. So now we have it completely wiped and clear, as you can tell, there's 499.74 gigs, so it's completely clean. So once you've done that, close out this red button and go back to the main install screen. So now you have your hard drive officially completely cleaned off, erased and wiped. And then now we need to reinstall the operating system back on here. And then head over to install Mac OS and then click continue. It's gonna prompt you to the welcome screen. So I'm gonna install Catalina, click continue. These are the basic terms of the software. We just click agree and just acknowledge you've read the terms. And once you've done that, you're gonna see the hard drive that you just reformatted in the middle. Click that, because you're saying that's where you want to install the new um, operating system. Click install, and it'll start installing. And depending on the speed of your internet connection, this could take anywhere from 15, 20 minutes to 45 minutes. And then once it brings it to this screen, if you're selling the computer, you can just power it down from this point. So then the new user, when they open it, it'll bring them to this page. They can just enter all their information and set it up exactly the way they want. 
that is it. You've successfully wiped your computer clean of all of your information. You've reformatted the hard drive and you've reinstalled the operating system. So the new owner will get it from this point when they power the computer on.